internet and welcome to the extra edit channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys a very simple trick on how you can bring your photos and images to life in adobe premiere now without further ado let's dive in what you need is just a photo editing app and adobe premiere now if you do not have photoshop no need to worry guys you can also use any other photo editing app that allows you to separate your subject from the background so now here in photoshop we're going to use the object selection tool but before we do that we're going to duplicate this image layer so that we have two layers because we need a foreground subject and a background so while in photoshop we're going to create a new copy of this image by simply clicking and dragging it to this create new layer icon so it creates for us a duplicate of that image or you can also use ctrl j to create a duplicate of the same now we have two layers we have one that we're going to use as the subject and the other is going to be the background now using the object selection tool here we are going to make a quick object selection of Messi. <laughs> so we're going to make a selection and by the way you can refine this selection using the quick selection tool because i'm just doing a youtube tutorial i'll just speed this up real fast Now looks like Adobe has done a very good job and we've also helped AI refine our selection. AI also sometimes needs help. But if you do client work, make sure you really refine the selection. Now don't create a layer mask yet, but click on the bottom layer and using command or control I, just invert the selection. And once the selection is inverted, just right click, go to content aware fill and Adobe will use artificial intelligence or what they call Adobe Sensei. It will sample pixels from other areas and then use them to fill up that area that we selected. Now click apply and okay. Looks like nothing happened, but actually something did happen. So we'll go back to the top layer and then create a layer mask. Come to the create layer mask icon here and add a layer mask. So in that way, we have a subject separated from the background. So the next step is to turn off the top layer. And when you zoom in here, you clearly see that the edges of the mask are very visible. So what we want to do, we're going to use the healing brush tool to clean up those edges. So make sure that the bottom layer is selected. It's the one we're working on right now. And the top layer is turned off. So hold alt and then sample an area i'll sample there and then just draw like that let's speed it up looks like our background is clean enough but if you're doing client work make sure that you do a much more better job than i have done so turn on the top layer and then head over to file and save this file as a photoshop file we're going to say messy to life and we'll save it on the desktop make sure it's saved as a psd file close photoshop for now head over to adobe premiere and while we're waiting for the premiere to load guys you can hit the subscribe button hit like share the video so now we'll create a new project here i'll call it messy and i'm going to create a new timeline so using ctrl n on your keyboard you'll create a new timeline you can use any settings but i prefer 1080p 30 frames per second and make sure that pixel aspect ratio is set to square pixels so click ok now we are going to import so we're going to right click import and let's head over to desktop and we're saying messy to life open there's a little dialog box that pops up here there is merge all layers you don't want to do that you'll have done zero work if you merge all the layers so what do you want to do come under this little drop down and sequence change it to sequence and click ok so a new bin is created in the project window here and then all you have to do is to double click don't select this foreground element don't select the background but rather select this sequence down here and drag it into the timeline so in that way you're dragging the original photoshop file as it was one layer on top of the other now what we want to do here is to mimic a camera movement we can and choose to zoom in to zoom out all depends on what you want your story to be now with your playhead at the start of the timeline we're going to select the top layer which is the messy layer you can actually turn off the background just like that ah, okay let's have our background on and with the top layer selected we're going to create position and scale keyframes now we'll head into the future and create another set of keyframes position and scale keyframes make sure the scale keyframe 
me selected and we're going to scale this up just ever so slightly just like that anyway we'll do like 200 percent now you realize that i do not have enough room in my frame the head is being cut off that's why you will need the position keyframe we'll move messy down like that so when you play this back this is what you have we have our image scaling up just like that but look at our background our background is so static now because we're trying to mimic camera movement we're going to create another set of position and scale keyframes for the background let's first of all select the top layer once again and let's have our playhead on these last two keyframes and then because our playhead is not going to be tampered with let it be in place then we will select the bottom layer so we know that the playhead is at the exact point where the other keyframes on the top layer are placed. So we'll create another set of keyframes like that and then move our playhead to the start. Select the scale and we'll scale it ever so slightly just like that. And once you play back, this is what you have. That is sweet. One more trick before I go, we're going to head to effects and search for basic 3D because we want Messi to zoom in 3D space. So we have basic 3D added and we're going to swivel like that. So we'll begin from negative 10, create a keyframe for negative 10 and then move our playhead to where those other keyframes weigh and create a swivel of plus 10. Look at that. Who does that? That's very, very amazing work. So guys, that is how you can bring your images to life. You can also go ahead and add a few effects such as camera blur. For example, you know how you zoom into an image and you want to get the focus. You kind of go in and out of focus. It's called focus breathing. You can add that effect onto this. But for now, this is basically it. Thank you guys for watching. If you found this helpful, hit the like, subscribe, and also share the video. This tutorial has been in the making for a very long time. I've been wanting to upload video but because of the circumstances that surround life i wasn't able to create video but today i decided that today is the day that i have to upload a video thank you guys for watching i love you and as always don't forget to say hi to your mom i'm out of here peace